Todd White is a modern street evangelist and preacher. Like many contemporary and popular religious leaders, Mr. White has begun to create a small empire for himself because of his charismatic personality. Coming up, I'll be taking a brief look at his ministry. What's happening, Polite Society? I hope you had a good week. Really quick, if you like the content on this channel, you can subscribe by clicking on the icon on the bottom right, and then you can hit the bell for notifications. I just want to give a shout out to Ben, who made the request for this analysis. All right. Let's delve in. Todd White is a former drug addict and atheist. In 2004, his life was radically changed. He claims that he encountered the Holy Spirit at a Benny Hinn meeting, where he felt electricity, like he was plugged into a light socket, and the ushers on either side of him were thrown three feet into the air and ten feet back. Mr. White's primary desire is that others see the Holy Spirit flowing through them everywhere they go. White's Lifestyle University is said to be a world-shaking training program designed to equip others in their God-given identity, which will enable them to extend the love of Jesus. Four different lifestyle programs are offered within the program. Todd himself is part of a large, diverse movement known as the New Apostolic Reformation. One of the more controversial issues surrounding Todd White has to do with his alleged street healings. Videos of these supposed healings are available on YouTube. White approaches strangers at random and asks them if they have anything wrong with them. Now, most people do of course have some type of back, shoulder, or other pain, and Todd attempts to cure them of this ailment. One of the quote unquote healings Mr. White does has to do with the lengthening of people's legs. There is an unbeliever named Darren Brown who has exposed these so-called healings in Miracles for Sale. Can you see, Nathan, this leg here has shrunk a couple of inches. Can you see the difference between, if you look at the heels? So what we're going to do is we're going to heal the arthritis in your spine. Grow this leg. It's grow. I can feel now. I can feel that in my hand. I can feel this starting to grow. I, I, whenever you see them do this on YouTube, there's always a point. They bring the legs up, then they ask for the camera to come in. And all that's happening at that point is they just loosen one shoe. All the trick is going to be is, while we're talking about this, this leg lengthening, I'm just moving this shoe, just sliding it back on the back on the heel. So as Mr. Brown has demonstrated, this alleged healing is simply a parlor trick by Mr. White. And you're not fooling a skeptical Presbyterian like me. It's a very old, classic faith healer trick. But there's all sorts of other things I can make it sound like. Like, I know this is going to hurt your hamstrings doing mm. this for a while. So I can say to you, you can feel this pain, can't you? So why don't we do this? And I say, and that pain's gone, isn't it? I lower your legs. You honestly will say yeah, yes, yeah. but you're talking about this hamstring pain because of this. It's nothing to do with your spinal Ouch. pain. Incidentally, if Todd really has the power of healing, I'd love to see him walk into a cancer ward and completely heal a group of sick kids of the cancers they have. Also, Christ and his apostles didn't need to repeat countless sayings in order to heal people. They did it once with a simple command. Additionally, if you watch clips of these alleged healings by Todd, you will never see him tell any of these strangers to repent of their sins. I think that's very telling. Like Stephen Furtick, Mr. White practices what the Apologia elders have termed narcissus. Exegesis is the correct and proper explanation of a text of scripture. Eisegesis is when we introduce our own biases into the text. A large number of people in the church today use eisegesis when attempting to interpret the Bible. Narcegesis, though, is when we incorporate ourselves into the text. Todd himself has said, God did not tell you to memorize scripture. He told you to become it. Mr. White has also made some really bizarre statements about the gospel that I find incredibly confusing. I suppose there are some ways to untie these knots, but I'll leave that to his apologist to sort out. Here is a photo of Mr. White's lavish and incredibly large mansion. I've always had a big problem with pastors living in extravagant luxury. The text states that the laborer is worthy of his wages, not that the laborer is worthy of mansions. And there are countless texts in scripture that warn about the love of riches. Todd's income is said to be $600,000 per year, and he wants to raise $19 million so he can buy a gigantic megachurch complete with an auditorium, a football field, and a cafe. I really do not have any issues with the laity accumulating wealth as long as those riches do not become idols. But the clergy? is a different story. Now there are some positive aspects about Mr. White and lifestyle. I love how Todd is bold when it comes to subjects like fornication, and he has no qualms about telling professing Christians 
to repent when they practice this form of sexual immorality. The lifestyle statement of faith is also very firm when it comes to the big contemporary issues of homosexuality and abortion. Both of these stands are quite admirable, especially considering the onslaught we are facing from the left in this day and age. Now, if Todd could just dump the street healing and get the gospel right, I could probably get on board with him. As always, ladies and gents, if you have your own thoughts, be sure to leave them in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up. Once again, if you like the material on this channel, you can subscribe by clicking on the icon on the bottom right. I upload a new video every Saturday. Remember that the Messiah, Jesus Christ, rules over the universe. Have an awesome week. And for my brothers and sisters in the Lord, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all always. I will see you all in the next video. God's blessings on your week.